add over 10,000 social housing units to our social housing stock. Next year it will be over 11,000 uh, and we will continue to provide those kind of numbers and more uh, until we get on top of the housing pressures that are being contributed to by an increasing population uh, but also being contributed to by a broken housing market which Thank we are in the process of fixing over time. Deputy Doherty. Sam is not alone. There are other pictures where we can see of children who are homelessness, homeless eating their dinners just outside the steps of the GPO. The same place where the leaders of this country came together, their bus that surround us in this chamber came together and proclaimed an Irish Republic, proclaimed that we would cherish all of the children of the nation equally. How you have let them down and more importantly how you have let those children down. Because as you rhyme off statistics there again, the one statistic that you didn't rhyme off is that child homelessness continues to grow. And with those figures, we have people like Sam and many others who are forced into these situations. And you have blocked the solutions that could be, uh, that could be delivered that would result in serious changes in Irish society. You have blocked the Focus Ireland Amendment, which would have prevented families and children such as Sam becoming homeless in the first place. Fianna Gael and Fianna Fáil have voted against, just again recently, the right to housing to be enshrined in the Constitution. Many of these families are forced into homelessness because of escalating rents. Again, your two parties have blocked our proposal for a rent freeze. These are real solutions, but your government has simply no answers. Yes, last week in the budget you announced a €20 million Euro increase you, for homelessness services. That is an acceptance that the crisis will get worse. Minister, that is not a policy. It is not a solution. You need to listen to what we and others like the Focus Ireland have been putting forward. So I ask you, what is your government going to do in the here and now for Sam? What are your government going to do for those children sitting outside the GPO who are eating their dinner also like Sam? Okay, well, what are you going to do for the children you, who are now being given a sleeping bag? Tonight instead of a home or emergency accommodation because it's simply not available. These are the questions that a whole nation is asking after Deputy, seeing please. this a terrible situation where children are forced to eat their dinner from the ground on cardboard, which is not acceptable. A nation who wants to reach out and comfort that, but it's your government that needs to implement the policies and take action to make sure this never happens again. Honestly. Deputy, uh, nobody has a... Um, uh, a moral superiority on this issue. Um, uh, we have and we continue to prioritise homelessness and housing uh, in terms of response. Uh, I was a minister who introduced uh, uh, rent pressure zones to limit uh, rent inflation when that was needed uh, and, uh, and about 60% or more of our rental properties in the country are now subject to those provisions. Uh, we have debated in this House some of the solutions that Sinn Féin have proposed. The problem with, with those uh, proposals is that the majority of this House believe they won't work. Uh, 